Hello, hello. My name is Victoria B. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. The sun was out again today. It's been beautiful here. Like the weather's finally starting to clear up and people are out and about. Beautiful. Thank you, God, for the sun. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, I will be reading for the sign of Leo today. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you're not a Leo sun sign, please check your moon, rising, and Venus sign. There could be some messages in this video for you as well. Remember, you can reverse the roles, male or female, and you can switch the story around vice versa. Now, remember, this video will not resonate with all Leos in the universe, so just take what messages that resonate and, and delete the rest. Um, I have a lot of other Leo videos on my channel if you would like to check those out. Also, I am now taking personal readings okay um the prices and the length of the readings are down in my description box okay and i want to thank people for giving me for your donations i've received several lately and i really appreciate it i appreciate your help supporting the channel and if you want to get up with me for a personal reading um there's one for every price range okay uh the lengthier ones are more and the shorter ones are less of course so just check out that information in the description box and there's a text a number you can text and just say I would like to book a reading and I'll get right back with you okay so check that out if you want to and let's get into your reading Leo 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 my fire kings and fire queens my lovely lovely Leos okay spirit what do we have for my lovely Leos today Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus and North Node Spirit, what do you have for Leo? Okay, we have ring. Oh, wow. A marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So, this is the ring card. You can see that. Anyway, Leo... Somebody may want to give you a ring or propose or vice versa, or it could be a birth of a, of a, a, a new business. Are you going to be married to a business or ask someone to marry you or someone may want to marry you? It can go both ways. That's a nice card. We have crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Oh, hell. See, we have here crib, birth, of a, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Okay, so right away, um, Leo, somebody may want to marry you. They may ask you to get married. Okay, or someone could be having a baby or a conception of a child. Or it could be some kind of business venture. A new, inter a new a a baby or a birth can also be a business venture or, or enterprise. You know, it could be all three. That's good. That's very positive. I like that. Okay. What else do we have for Leo? Okay. I see something on the bottom. I want to take this. It looks like it might resonate. We have rooster. <laughs> rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. Sounds like a karmic to me. Might be your karmic, karmic partner. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. A rooster, somebody that's aggressive. Kind of what I'm getting for that. All right, let's see what else we have for. And we have June. The month of June could be significant for you, Leo. Something with one of these incidents that I just described could happen in June. Hmm. Yeah, September, June or September could be significant. And we have flag. Don't be, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. And we have V for victory. V, victory in some endeavor. And money. Coins, money will be coming to you. Oh my God. This is good, Leo. Basket, recognition, reward for merit. And I got turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. This sounds like um, a karmic. <laughs> I 
nest an emotionally secure loving family is important to you yeah i know that about my leos yeah then we have um hmm okay i think that's enough okay all right leo we got a lot of cards here i just felt led to take those so it looks like you're having the only, th the only thing bad I see on here is um, the rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. This could be uh, a karmic or a family member or a friend, turkey, someone behaving stupidly, someone may be giving you a hard time, and flag, don't be tempted to lower your standards. So if it's a karmic, don't be tempted to go back to this karmic. Don't lower your standards. Keep your standards high. My Leos, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Keep your standard standards high. Something significant could happen in June or September. A marriage or birth of a child or a birth of an enterprise could come. You're going to have victory coming to you, recognition, reward, and money. I'm seeing that's really good. Okay. But I'm getting that don't lower your standards. Keep your standards high. Don't just settle for anybody. Okay, don't just just don't don't just settle for anyone or any situation. Make sure that it's right for you. All right. Okay, let's get some tarot on this. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels, what do we have for my Leos today? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What do we have for my Leos? What is the energy for Leo's person? What is the energy for Leo's person? What is the energy for Leo's person? Okay. Let's do it again. I couldn't tell if that fell out in reverse or not. Okay, what is the energy for Leo's person? Energy for Leo's person. Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is your person's energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign or somebody with earth in their chart, you know, or someone with a lot of earth sign in their chart or an earth sign. This is somebody that's stable. This is somebody, a knight is a potential suitor. So this is someone that's interested in you. Could be a past person, could be a new person. But this person wants to move slow. They are interested in you, but they want to move, they want to take things slow because there's that's how they operate. They move slowly. Um, earth energy is very stable. Also, I'm kind of getting with this card. Sometimes when this card comes up, I'm getting this person that this person that that's interested in you is maybe be your is maybe like a guardian angel. Maybe they've helped you a lot. Maybe they've been protecting you and you don't even know it. Something like that. But that. They are, a knight is a potential suitor. This is somebody that's interested in you, but they want to take things real slow. Okay? All right. On the bottom of the deck, we have, we have, um, we have the sun card. And that's your card, Leo, but it's coming up as their energy. This is their energy. This could be a very happy-go-lucky person. They might just like to take things slow. They're not in a hurry. Um... It could be someone, you make them happy. I'm kind of getting you make this person happy, or you, or they might make you happy. It could go either way. That's the energy of your person. That's good energy. All right. Okay, let's see what else we have. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Uh, what is the energy of my Leo at this time? What is the energy of my Leo at this time? Okay. Okay. We have the lovers. Okay. Okay. This is this is very easy. This is your energy. All right. We have the lovers here. This is Gemini. Could be dealing with a Gemini. This is a lover's card. This means you have a choice between two lovers. Okay. And on the other side of the lovers, we have the devil, which is a Capricorn or someone in devil energy, someone that's toxic. And on the other side of the lovers card, we have the nine of pentacles. This is minor arcana empress. I'm getting that you may have a choice. 
my computer. Sorry about that. Let me, I'm getting you have a choice between a devil and a nine of pentacles. A nine of pentacles is another earth energy, somebody Virgo specifically, or someone with Virgo in their chart, but earth energy. Um, so you have a choice between those two. It don't really look like it's much of a choice. Um, I'm kind of seeing this nine of pentacles is a, Maybe this person could have their own business, self-assured, confident business person. They could be very independent. And I'm getting it's this uh, knight of pentacles and the sun energy that wants to come towards you. Okay? But they want to take things very slow. And then on the other side of the lovers is your other choice. This is a devil. You're dealing with a devil. I don't know if you're still dealing with them or not, but you could be. Um, this devil right here I'm getting is this rooster. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross because earth energy is not arrogant or boastful. And then the turkey, they could be acting stupid. Someone's behaving stupidly. They could be acting like a devil. So it goes right with the flag card. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. You may already know who this person is, these people. So this devil energy, it could be a, a, a very sexual, but it's a toxic relationship. Or you could go towards a more stable person. Okay. But they're telling you, don't lower your standards. So I would not lower my standards for this devil. Look. Look, Leo. Right here. The obvious choice is the Nine of Pentacles. It's a minor arcana empress. Someone very independent and self-assured. They could have their own business. They could be very independent. They could be um, abundant. Knight of Pentacles is a stable energy as well. But they want to move slow. This person might make you happy or vice versa. The devil is this turkey and this rooster. They could be doing some real stupid shit right now. But that's your choice. Okay. That is. That's your energy. Wow. And yeah, I'm not going to pull all these cards, but actually I could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, crown on your spread is the nine of. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, this is your energy. Whoever this person is, could be a Gemini, or it could be a Capricorn, or a Devil, whatever sign, could be any sign. But this person has injured you. Nine of, nine, of, nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. You fought a lot of battles with this person, but you're still standing there with one wand. You're still willing to take a chance on love. It's like, this person this got a bandage on his head. This person could have physically abused you or verbally abused you in some way. But you're strong and you, you're persevering through it all. Whoever this rooster, turkey, devil energy is, it's coming right up in your reading. And then um, the, found, the, the root of the problem with, your love, uh, with whoever you're dealing with, this, this devil energy, um, is the seven of swords. This person lied to you. They cheated on you. You know, and they did things to you and got away with it. You might know now. You might already know what it is. But at the time, they were doing a lot of shit behind your back and getting away with it. See this person tiptoeing? This is Scooter. I call him Scooter. And you said, not today, Scooter. I don't think so, Scooter. This is Scooter. This is what I've named this card. This is sneaky-ass Scooter sneaking around behind your back. I mean, look at them. They're tiptoeing around. They got the, they're walking on their tippy toes, but in the background, see the confirmation bell just went off. But here I see in the background, there's people watching. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's people watching in the background. So I'm kind of getting this, this Knight of Pentacles energy down here, this guardian angel energy, somebody that that kind of is interested in you. They may have been protecting you, watching out for you. You know? Something like, or you could have other people. You could have just people around you that are trying to protect you. Um, that's another issue, too. And then past energy is Nine of Swords. We're going to take Nine of Swords and Six of Pentacles because Nine of Swords. This person stressed you out, whoever this is. It's a, either a Gemini or a Capricorn or some kind of devil energy. They um, stressed you out. You had a lot of sleepless nights. Uh, with that Nine of Swords, they could have verbally abused you, talked down to you, made you feel bad about yourself. Maybe nothing you did was ever good enough for them. And also this um, Six of Pentacles means that you could have gave them 
all your money. You could have gave everything you had to them and they did not reciprocate. They didn't give anything back to this relationship. So it puts you in this nine of swords. Don't let this person verbally abuse you or physical. I'm seeing physical and verbal abuse. Okay. All right. That's in the past though. That's a good thing. In the future, we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is a gift. This is a gift coming to you. All right. This is a gift from the universe. University. This is a gift from the universe. It's more earth energy. Um, if you don't lower your standards and stay with this devil or this turkey rooster devil person, okay, you pick the right one. You might have this Knight of Pentacles, Minor Arcana Empress coming to you in the future. That's one of your choices. If you make the right choice, that's what could be coming to you in the future. That's a gift. A gift from the finances, financial gift and love. It could be both. But, you know, you need to make the right choice. Sometimes, um, and this person makes you happy, that you make them happy. Yep. Yeah, and they've been holding on to you with their heart chakra, but feeling left out in the cold from you. Eight of, uh, four of pentacles. Okay. Yep. For sure. So, that's how you're seeing yourself, or they're seeing you. Okay, and then we have the queen of cups. Hmm. Let me see here. Hold on, Leo. Let me check it. Let me check it out. Yeah. Yeah, I see it right here. Okay, this is the Queen of Cups. This could be this uh, minor, car minor Arcana Empress here. That's independent, self-assured, business person. This is Cancer, Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Don't have to be. But this is how other people are seeing you. There's, this is an empath. Leo, you could be an empath. You could be very kind-hearted. This is the Queen of Cups. This is your energy. It's how other people are seeing you as the Queen of Cups. Okay? We're just going to leave it there for right now. But they're seeing you as the Queen of Cups. They're seeing you as... You could be an empath. You could feel other, people, other people's energy. You'd be able to read people. You're kind. You do a lot for other people. Like in the past with that Six of Pentacles. So I think you deserve this Ace of Pentacles. It's it probably it probably took it's going it probably took a hell of a long time for this to come to you, but it's coming to you. It's look like it says June or September. So Queen of Cups, Empath. Okay. And then um, hopes and fears. We got the world. Okay, the end of the cycle. Maybe since this Nine of Swords and Six of um, Pentacles is in the past with this rooster turkey devil person maybe you ended a cycle with them okay maybe that cycle is over now so you can start a new one and you could have this ace of pentacles coming to you in the future it's a person it's a gift all right yeah, somebody suffered a tower lately it's either you or your person this is Scorpio energy. You could have Scorpio on your chart or your person could have Scorpio in their chart. But the tower is a major life change. It's divine intervention, a separation, a breakup. So it looks like to me that you had a breakup with one of these people because you got a choice between two lovers. You had a breakup with them. It caused a tower. It caused a crisis. It caused, you know, the tower goes boom, boom, like that. It's an upheaval, a crisis, a separation. Divine intervention has come in between this relation, this shit here in the past that was stressing you out because you were given and not getting anything for it, okay? And then we have uh, the outcome is the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. We have an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is more water energy. This is coming, also coming to you in the future. High love card. Whoever this is, it could be this um, Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles energy. Whoever's coming towards you may have may have had to master some self-love. Maybe you too. Maybe this person has never told you how deeply they love you, but they're going to make offer you. This is a deep love card. That the Ace of Two Aces. These are gifts from the divine. But I need to warn you, this person 
is still around in your energy or they wouldn't have showed up here with the devil. Okay, they would not have showed up here with the devil. They're still in your energy, so you need to make a choice, whatever it is that you want to do. It says you're going to have victory, but you got to make the right choice. And it says birth or conception. I hope this, whoever this is, I hope they're not pregnant. I hope the devil's not pregnant, but whatever. Anyway, don't be tempted to lower your standards. Okay. All right, let's see. All right. I'm gonna, let's see. What do we have to clarify anything? Let's clarify the devil. Why is this devil card here? I mean, let's just get some info. We know what it is, but what is this devil? Why is, why is the devil here? The devil. Yep. Okay. The devil. The four of pentacles. I mean, the four of cups. I'm getting with this devil. This is you sitting under the tree, Leo. You're sitting under this tree. Spirit is offering you a gift. See that over here? Spirit is offering you a cup. They're offering you the Ace of Pentacles. But will you take it? That's the thing. Will you choose the right one? Because whoever this, there's three cups spilled on the ground here. This devil energy, this rooster turkey has spilled your cups. And now you're kind of just sitting under the tree. Maybe you're a little bored, maybe depressed, bored, and you're thinking about it. But this divine offer is right there, offering that, it's, it's that cloud with that cup, and you're ignoring it. And that's what you call lowering your standards. Don't do it. Pick the right, pick the good, you know which one you should pick. So do the, do the, do the correct thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. All right. Who's the Seven of Swords? Who's the Seven of Swords? Who's the Seven of Swords? Who's the Seven of Swords, please? Who's the Seven of Swords? Whoa. Yeah. Okay, we're... Verifying the Seven of Swords. This is this person. This is this devil person. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Seven of Swords. This person don't want to let you go. This devil energy, rooster turkey, they don't want to let you go. This is Scooter. Scooter is still sneaking around. They're very aggressive right now. That's the one that could have verbally abused you or physically abused you or talked to you like a dog, just talked down to you all the time. Um, they're very aggressive. They want to come towards you. It looks like you're not with this person right now. They want to come towards you. This person's aggressive. They've wounded you. Okay, they, are, they do want to come towards you. I don't know what... And cause some type of conflict so you don't go to towards this Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Empress, or Minor Arcana Empress. So you don't go towards that. They're trying to block it. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, because they're feeling left out in the cold. They're, this person could be, I mean, this is, in this case, it's a financial card for me right now in this reading. This person uh, may be asking you for money, may be pressuring you, I need money, I need money, I need this, and they're being very aggressive, they're being very abusive about it, okay? So, the only thing they really want from you is money, oh, so it's looking that way to me, so, because they don't have any, maybe they lost their, seeing the, all the see what you were given to them in the past, but they didn't treat you good. They talked down to you. They made you feel bad about yourself. They caused you to have anxiety, nightmares, sleep. You couldn't sleep with this person. And they're right. This is the, the root of the problem is right here. That's what this problem is. All right. Okay. Let me see. Okay. All right. One on this... Um, 
Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Okay, who's the person that's holding on to you with their heart chakra? Who is this? Is this somebody? Is this? Okay, who is this? The Ace of Pentacles and Justice. Ah, hell. Look. Okay, this is how other people are this is how other people are seeing you, but this person, whoever you this new person, this other person, this empress that you're have minor arcana empress that you need to choose from, that's the one you need to choose, but it, you know, it's not it's not for me to say it's your life. But they're holding on to they've been holding on to you for a long time. And we got justice and the ace of pentacles. So we have the ace of pentacles twice. Okay, you may want to offer this person a pentacle as well, a gift. And like I said, with the Ace of Pentacles, it takes a long time for that to manifest. But it's coming. It's coming. It's coming soon. Coming soon to a theater near you. Okay, so you have Justice, the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you deserve. This is Justice. This is Libra. Um, your person could have be a Libra or Libra in their chart, or you could be have Libra in your chart somewhere, okay? But this other person that's holding on, they want to offer you a pinnacle as well. I mean, you want to, it looks like it's a mutual thing because the Ace of Pentacles has um, come up twice, and both you guys could be gifted. Yep, yep, yep. Justice for the heartbreak. Yeah, look. Because this other person broke your heart, the one that you, the one that was abusing you, they broke your heart. But look what's coming. It's justice for the heartbreak. Actually, it came out like this. The Ace of Pentacles. Justice, the Ace of Pentacles. And then this is, this is your karmic justice for getting your heart broken. And see? And the other person wants to come in and offer you a, this Ace of Pentacles as well. All right. High Priestess. This person could be very intuitive, very it could be a psychic. It could be somebody very intuitive. And maybe you was keeping this person a secret. That's what I'm kind of hearing. Yep, victorious. This person is whoever this person is, it's your this empress, this not minor, this nine of pentacles that wants to move slow, wants to have victory with you, they want your attention. This person could get a lot of attention also. And we have temperance. temperance this is Sagittarius uh you could be doing your person could be a Sagittarius too so a Sagittarius with Libra in their chart or a Libra with Sagittarius in their chart this is the temperance angel this is reconciliation as well whoever this is they want to reconcile with you okay hmm. but we have a devil here comes the devil again twice they want to block it they want to block this your person could be um, like spiritual or religious, whatever, but we have the devil in the hierophant, okay? And what I'm thinking might be the problem. If your person is a psychic or an empath or something like that, um, this other person, this other person that was treating you badly in the past, the devil, because there they are again, they're trying to block it. They're trying to block it as I'm even speaking into existence. They're trying to block it. Um, they might mock this person. This person is not spiritual at all. They could be on the dark side of it with the devil. The devil and the hierophant kind of gives me a vibe of a spiritual narcissist too. But they could be your, your Sagittarius or your Libra person. They could be mocking them. Okay? Because the devil, you got the devil, you got the hierophant with the peace sign. Then you got the devil and they're like this. If you can see it like that so that means they're mocking the the devil is mocking the hierophant okay the devil is mocking the hierophant so your person is temperance and the hierophant and this devil energy mocks them makes fun of them maybe they're spiritual they're trying to get in this over here but don't let them okay yep wow okay There's an Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person wants to offer you Ace of Wands. This is 
sex, passion, taking action. So we have three aces. We have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. And that is a straight gift from the divine. But you're ignoring it, Leo. You're ignoring it. So I'm not trying to be hard on you. I'm just saying. Yeah, because look, this situation with this past person is dead. Is dead dog in the middle of the road dead. You're transforming into somebody new. You're changing. You're transforming. Your other per your person could be going through a transformation as well. This is a spiritual transformation, death and rebirth. But this over here is a past shit with the devil. Is dead dog in the middle of the road dead. It's roadkill. And you guys, you and your you and this other person that you have a choice between is going through a spiritual transformation. So just, you know, use your head. Think about it. Just think about it. Of course, you got to do what's right for you. All right. Anything else? One on the Queen of Cups. One on the Queen of Cups, please. One on the Queen of Cups. The Empress. And the Nine of Pentacles. Aha! I see now. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles over here. That was your choice. You, you have a choice between the devil or the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is the new person or somebody from that you dealt with before you dealt with this devil. So this person is an empath. Whoever you're dealing with, Queen of Cups, they're an empath. They're an empress. Nine of Pentacles, that's your person. That's their energy. This is your person's energy. Okay? They have it all. They want to offer you that Ace of Pentacles. Look like you want to offer them too. But this devil keeps getting in the way. Okay? All right. And <laughs> someone is spying on them. I don't know if you're spying on them or this karmic is spying on them. Either or. Wow. Knight of Wands. King of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Knight of Wands. Can indicate relocation of residence. All right. All right, let's get, I need to see what's going on here. Let's get, um, I'm going to get my little court card. High Priestess is not telling me everything, so I need to um, find out. Okay, Spirit. Who is Leo's person? Who is not, we know that the devil is, looks like it's an air sign. With that knight of swords it looks like it's an air sign but who is this other person that leo has a choice with the empress the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles who is who is leo's person who is leo's person who is leo's person hmm we got the queen of cups again okay all right we have two queen two queen of cups Okay. That could indicate same sex relationship to, to a Queen of Cups. That could be a same sex relationship or not. It don't have to be. Uh, it could just mean, okay, either you're in a same sex relationship or it could mean that both you and your person, this new per this other person you want to go towards, that you're having a hard time making a choice about. You could both be in your feminine energy. Okay. And maybe there's an imbalance there. You feel me? Okay. Is there anything else on, the, on these two queen, of, the two queen of cups? What else? That, what else is in here? What else can we find out for Leo's person? Get another energy for Leo. Let's get their masculine energy. Let's get their masculine energy please. Not feminine. Okay. Page of Wands. Page. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, with the Page of Wands, this person, this is Fire Energy Aries Leo Sag. They could see you as good news. They're happy, excited. They might be excited to see you. Then we have the Page of Cups. 
That means maybe they want to apologize to you. They want to declare their love for you. All right, anything else on this uh, two Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Wands? Here we go. I knew he was in here. Okay. There's two ways this could go, so I'm going to explain. We have the King of Cups. Who did the King of Cups show up in? Whose reading was that? Scorpio. Scorpio had the King and Queen of Cups. Okay. So, um... There's a lot of ways this can go, okay? So if you're not if you're not um, into the same sex, this don't apply to you. But this is one way it can go. We have two queens. It could be a same sex relationship. If not, if you're not, um, if you're heterosexual, then we have the king and queen of cups. Either way, it's two impasse, whether it's same sex or heterosexual. King and Queen of Cups are two impasse. So, Leo, your person, uh, you could you could be the king or the queen, and or ever how that works for you, whether you're a man or a woman, these are two impasse. This is the highest love card. And two Queen of Cups in a relationship could be high love. This is the Empress. Okay. All right. There's the King of Cups again. Yep. Just there he is twice. See, look, there's there's two of them right here. This is just verifying. There we go, right there. So, whatever, um, you got to look at your personal situation for that one. Okay? But right now, I'm going to focus on the King and Queen of Cups, or empaths. All right? This person that you, that wants to, that you're trying to make a choice over is very high level love. You both could be empaths or have some sort of gift. All right? They could be a Libra, let's see, a Libra, a Taurus, or a Sagittarius, and... Okay, we got Libra, we got Libra, Taurus, and Sagittarius, or that it, it could be one of those, one of those signs, okay? All right, let's see what we got on this King and Queen of Cups, all right? This is our two impasse, that's you and, that's you and this new person, okay? So you could, you know, like I said, this goes for if you're same sex, or this is a, this is a man and a woman, and this could be two men, two women. It's like, like two women. I don't know. It could be two women. But we're focusing on this one right now. But if, whatever I'm reading for, this will be your same sex reading as well. Okay, the King and Queen of Cups. Spirit, what what do we have? What do we need to know for this King and Queen of Cups? Big dreams and material world. Okay, you both could want the same thing. You both could be abundant. Or want you have you want to maybe you want your finances to be better, and you have you you have dreams you have goals that you want to accomplish. Maybe you could accomplish these goals together. Shadow work, okay. Somebody needs some shadow work. Then we have divine feminine. Divine feminine. So this person, Leo, this Queen of Cups is your divine feminine. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, Queen of Cups is your Divine Feminine. Or reverse the roles, ever how you want to look at it. Devotion. Um, like I said, with the two Ace of Pentacles here, I could have this could have taken a long time to unfold. Okay, and that Temperance card is Sagittarius, but also can mean reconciliation. So it could be somebody from before this, um, before this person that was abusing you. Devotion. I'm hearing that song, Hopelessly Devoted to You. Maybe this person, in spite of what happened, they could be hopelessly devoted to you. Okay? Or you, them. Hopelessly devoted to devotion. And that's a twin flame card to me. That's a flame. Okay. Spirit wants you to surrender to this. But we have an observer. We have Scooter, Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords. We got Scooter watching. Yeah, that's Scooter watching. They're watching you and this other person. Observer. Be careful. Okay. Mute. Um, with a high priestess, uh, you could be talking to this per this other person, this empress or minor arcana empress, or you may be keeping quiet about everything, keeping things a secret because you know someone is watching this shit. Metamorphosis. Yeah, both of you are... Mirroring each other. You're both going through a spiritual transformation. 
Mm -hmm. The past is, whatever you have with this person is dead. Oh, wow. Okay. And then we have, oh, wow. Hmm. Muse, let's get another one. What else do we have for the King and Queen of Cups? June or September, some about that. New direction, yeah. Yep, y'all want to go and take a leap of faith into a new direction. The sun came up. You want the sun. You want to go, that person makes you happy, or they, or vice versa, or both. You want to go in a new direction. Yep, but distraction, it could be a tower. It'll cause a tower. We have it on here twice. For anything to transform, a tower has to occur. Okay, this person may have a devil in their atmosphere, too, that they got to get rid of. You never know, okay? But it's going to cause a tower. People are not going to like this. They are not going to like it, okay? But you have to decide if you want to be happy or not because it's gonna, you, you guys are going to have a commitment. Fifth dimension. You've been talking to each other with the high priestess. You've been talking in the fifth dimension in the um, 5D, Okay, a lot of telepathic communication going on. Yep, settling. Um, you could have settled for this past person. Yeah, and ascending. Ascending. You both are ascending. Fresh start. There it is again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Solitude, hermit mode. Yep, reinvention. Return means reconciliation with a person before this person. Union. Might go into union. Wow. Self-worth. Yep. Y'all yeah, could have found your self-worth. Yeah, just be careful. Okay. I didn't mean to read that many cards for that, but I just, I did it, Leo. <laughs> okay, King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Cups. King and Queen of Cups. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. Okay, something could have happened with you guys in the past. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, they're calling you in, Leo. Passion. Allow your heart to, and soul to sing with joy. Well, we got the Ace of Wands here. There's a lot of passion in this relationship. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So, there's two devils on here. Both of, both you and this person could be dealing. They could be dealing with a devil too. You got to free yourself before it, this can even have a hope of manifesting. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And always remember and never forget. Love yourself first. Look, love yourself first. Love yourself first. Okay. Playfulness. Romantic feelings. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So it's reconciliation with somebody. Yep. Alright, let's get... Um, Past life card. Let's get a past life. Past life card. What was going on with this king and queen of cups in a past life? My Leo and their... My Leo and the person they're supposed to be with. Let's just put it to you like that. Wars and battles. Woo! Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, taking a long time. Wars and battles. You could have had to go through a lot of wars and battles in the past life to get to each other. But you know, with something good, something good, it's never going to be easy. So, there you go. Father. Okay. Something happened maybe with their father or your father. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. You let me know in the comments. Scribe or writer. Either you or your person, 
You could have been a scribe or a writer in a past life. You could be very creative. You could like to write. Mm. Male, female. Yeah, this is the two queens that I said. In a Somebody, um, male, female, in a past life, somebody could have been like, um, you could have been a woman. If you're a man, you could have been a woman in a past life. If you're a woman, you could have been a man. That's what this card is. So that's for the um, that's for the same sex relationship. Okay, medicine man or medicine woman, you or your person could be a healer because you both are empaths. Wow. Mm. But I father and baby could have had a baby in the past life. Let's just keep going. Okay, I get a little carried away with those cards. All right. So now we have what does Leo? What does the um? Your person's the king of cups, Leo. You're the queen. Man or woman, it don't matter. What does your person want to say to you? What does Leo's person want to say to them? I really see myself settling down with you. I hope I haven't lost you. I hope I haven't lost you. See, they're saying, I hope I haven't lost you. I do subliminal things hoping you will notice. Subliminal is very hidden things, so you really have to pay attention. They're trying to get your attention. I have so much regret. It's like no matter how long we go without talking, my feelings never change. This is where this uh, devotion comes in. This person is devoted to you, this other, this nine of pentacles empress, not the devil. They're devoted to you. They could have been for a very long time. Okay, because of you, I know I am worthy. We have so much history that's irreplaceable. You're always on my mind. See that? Okay. That's supposed to be with the other deck. I find ways to express how I care about you, and I hate how long it's been since I've seen you. They haven't seen you in a while. This is a nice reading. But you just got it. Both, it looks like both of y'all may have a devil you know both of y'all may have a devil something like that and I'm getting maybe there could be some religious differences between y'all I don't know just let me know in the comments let me know if I'm hitting anything that might resonate with you here okay what else does what else does this person want to say to what else does Leo's person want to say to them the one the one they're supposed to be with I can tell you don't trust me. I want to change that. I'm done running from this connection. I've been thinking about proposing to you. I have inner childhood wounds. I have inner childhood wounds. I've been more focused on money because I'm trying to build for myself. Well, you're dealing with a... Looks like you're dealing with a nine of pentacles over here. Empress. They're try, they're, your person, this other person that you want to go back to or, or have a choice between... They want to, they're building, they're working on themselves. They have goals. So they've been concentrating on their money and their goals, it looks like. Okay. Even though we're not together, I, I just can't see myself letting you go. Yeah, look, the four of pentacles. They don't want to let you go. They keep holding on to you. All right. Let's see what this, your person has some. Inner childhood wounds. I've got some different cards I'm going to use on this. I have inner childhood wounds. Okay, this is your person. What kind of inner childhood wounds does your person have? What kind of what kind of inner childhood wounds does your person have? Also, I'm hearing you make me feel amazing. This Nine of Pentacles Empress. You make them feel amazing. And they love you, they adore you, but maybe the, with the King of Cups, they may have never told you that. That you don't. I'm here. I heard that. It just randomly appeared from from spirit. What's the inner childhood wounds? What kind of inner childhood wounds does your person have? What kind of inner childhood wounds does this person have? Might take a minute for this to come out because it's sort of personal. What kind of um, inner childhood wounds does this person have? I've struggled with depression. This is your person that hasn't told you everything, how they feel, that they actually adore you. They think they, you make them feel amazing. I've struggled with depression. So they may have, 
I've never felt unconditional love. Maybe they did with you. Maybe they do with you. I'm embarrassed to talk about my childhood. Physically abused. This is your person's energy. We're not doing yours, you know. This is they were physically abused and verbally abused. I'm hearing heavy on the verbal abuse. And I don't want my past to hurt. I don't want my past to hurt anymore. Yep, they're angry about something in the past. All right. These are a little personal. These are called Confessions Edition Wounds Number no. 2 by Lorena OG Tarot. In case you want to, and then I'm going to do Twin Flame Soulmate Confessions Edition, Lorena OG Tarot. We're going to do, okay, what else does your person need to tell you? What else does your person need to tell you, Leo? The one you're supposed to be with. Substance abuse. Yeah, the devil uh, came out for both of y'all, but it came out for your person. We're just going to concentrate on them right now. Yeah, substance abuse, alcohol, drugs, tobacco, pills, weed. Yeah, your person might be have some time of substance abuse problem. And I really wish my childhood was different. I feel I wouldn't be the way I am. Okay, anything else? This is your person. The, but now they're a Nine of Pentacles Empress. Okay? They really changed them. They, it looks like they have changed themselves. All right. What else? There's painful things I've experienced I don't talk about. This is your person talking to you. And I used intimacy... Listen, I use intimacy to be vulnerable with my emotions for you. I used intimacy to be vulnerable with my emotions with you. Okay? So this person, this Nine of Pentacles Empress, the intimacy could be very emotional for them. Maybe that's how they express their love. They express their love to you through intimacy, but that's how they, your intimacy, they consider your intimacy with them to be special, to be not just intimacy, but emotional. They got, they, 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 they got, they, they have an emotional connection with you because of that. That's how they feel. So, all right. All right. That's it. That's it for that. Um, Let's see. This is going to be a long one, Leo. I, can, I had to keep, I feel the need to keep going for some reason. Um, we'll just keep on going. All right, this is um, Sip to Life 2 messages. What other messages for the King and Queen of Cups? What other messages for the King and Queen of Cups? Sugar Daddy. Okay. All right. This past person. This devil that puts you, that used you, look like they used you for money, and they verb, they abused you verbally and physically. They, you're, you were their sugar daddy. Maybe they're, you're younger than them. Maybe that's who this page is over here. All right, they owe you an apology. Okay, apology. There you go. Look, sorry. They owe you an apology. Maybe they want to apologize. Okay, they could have been a stripper or with the entertainment industry. Okay, I'm just getting way too personal. All right. Karmic's getting in this reading there are from the very beginning. What else for the King and Queen of Cups? Studying, school, college, researching, a topic, studying a person. So someone's going to school. Someone's um, researching a person or a topic. Okay, that can be any, either one of y'all. Prison, incarcerated, visiting, getting out, or prison history. Like I said, incarcerated, visiting, getting out, or prison history. Maybe this karmic is in jail now. For some reason, this, this, this younger person, younger than you, Leo, maybe they in jail. Or somebody has a prison history. Okay, whatever. This is copyright notice. That don't apply. All right. What else? One more card. 
for this King and Queen of Cups. All right. Communication. Okay. Communication's coming from this person, or you could have already had it with them. Inspiring. People look up to you, admire you. You influence people. I told you, your person, this this empress, this other, this person that you want to reconcile with, they want to reconcile with you, whatever. They look up to you. You make them happy with the sun. You inspire them. They adore you. I told you. I heard it. I heard. I heard it. Spirit told me. All right. Okay. Let's get um, sip to life. Three. What other messages do we need to know for the King and Queen of Cups? Okay, we have bills and loan. Okay. Someone that may need to borrow some money. You or them. Okay, somebody. Like I said, this karmic here is like hanging out with you for money. They still may be asking you for money. Arrest. Oh, shit. Man, I need to do a part two. Arrest. Yes, this, this person here, this karmic... Oh my God, this person younger than you were involved with, they could have gotten arrested or they're going to. They could have gotten arrested or they're going to. Oh my God, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. What else? Anything else? Anything else, Spirit, for this, for this situation? This person's your soulmate. Calling in your soulmate. Taxes and Sunday. Some about Sunday. And someone is waiting probably to get their tax check back. And the sun again. All the things that's been hidden from you is you're going to be illuminated with that sun card. That's the sun twice. Okay. Your energy, Leo. You may want to, you may be buying a car or borrowing a car. All right. Okay, that's all I'm going to take for that. Let's get a song and we're done. This re this reading went way longer than what I was really planning it to be, but it's okay. Okay. What does what kind of song does your person want to dedicate to you, Leo, this person? It's either a Libra, a Sagittarius, a Libra, a Sagittarius, or what's that other one that I said? Hold on. Taurus. A Libra, a Sagittarius, or a Taurus, or they could have that in their chart, okay? What is this person that that adores you? They adore you, they get butterflies when they see you or think about you, and they think you make them feel amazing. That's just what I'm hearing, okay? Who is what kind of song? Loving you is like a battle, and we both end up with scars. Tell me who I have to be. To gain some reciprocity. See no one. See no one loves you more than me. And no one ever will. X Factor. Lauren Hill. Yeah this is a. This is not your ex. It's your ex out now. Or this is not the karmic. This is your soulmate. They want to know. What do they have to do. For you to reciprocate. Just saying. How long is it going to take. For you to realize to reciprocate. Maybe they've been. I don't know. Or it could be your energy. But I said this is a person. This is your person. Loving you is like a battle. And we both end up with scars. Tell me who I have to be. To gain some reciprocity. See no one loves you more. More than me. And no one ever will. See in the past you were given to this karmic. And they were just looking at you as a sugar daddy. See you were given to them. But this person wants to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, and they want to know, "Hey, man, when do you want to support? When do you? When are you going to reciprocate? When are you going to treat me like I treat you?" That's just what they're saying. Don't get mad at me. Always be my baby, my Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey, we were as one for a moment in time. It seems everlasting that you would always be mine. Now you want to be free, so I'm letting you fly. Because I know in my heart, baby, our love will never die. No, you will always be a part of me. Always be my baby. Yeah, you may have, this is a reconciliation card with this other person. So you may have left them. They may have broke up with them, something like that. And they let you go. They, didn't, they just let you go and let you find out for yourself what you was dealing with. Okay. Okay. 
burning with fever all over me, touched by your spirit of loving. Yeah. Feels so good by Midnight Star. Yeah. Yep. Baby, baby, it feels so good. Can you hear me say? Oh. <laughs> I don't feel like singing, y'all. Feel, feels so good by Midnight Star. Yeah, they, this person really, this person really cares about you, Leo. Just saying. All right, what advice do we have for, what advice do we have for my Leo? What advice do we have for my Leo? I really am enjoying this reading. It's long, though. Um, what advice do we have for my Leo? You deserve everything beautiful. They think you deserve, your person thinks you deserve everything. Learning how to be, learning how to, learning how to love begins with self-love. Yeah. So love yourself, Leo. Love yourself first. Okay. And that's all I have, guys. I'm, I'm sorry it was so long, but I felt led to do this. Leo, I hope this helped you out, resonated with you in some way. Please let me know in the comments. And I love you guys. Mwah. Mwah. Have a beautiful day, night, evening, wherever you are in the country. God bless.